hey guys welcome back to my channel again if you guys hear like um noise in the background is because i'm in my car editing my video because i'm on the way to pick my daughter up from school but anywho let's get into the video this video is basically just simple twist out without having any type of shrinkage like you'll have shrinkage but not that much shrinkage because i did it on dry hair and then as you can see throughout the video i wet my hair with a spray bottle i got the spray bottle from amazon um i think it was like five dollars i think something like that but i just go throughout the video i brush all my hair out and then i take the spray bottle and i damp it don't drench it because that's how you really get a lot of shrinkage so just uh damp it and then when you damp it put your product in and then you just start twisting as you can see in this part right here i am going to start twisting it all right guys so like i said as you can see i'm brushing it out then i'm wetting it not drenching it just damp it brush it out then put your product in and then start twisting it and by the way guys this stuff smells so good i don't know how to pronounce the name but i'll put the, the what it is down below in the description box but it smells so good so i need to go out and i need to buy the whole line so yeah you just do that and then for like the top four twists you want to twist them onto your head you don't want to individually twist them you want to twist them onto your head so you'll see how i do that in these next clips All right guys, so once you get to the back of your head, that's when you will start doing them individually throughout your whole entire back head. You wanna twist all of them up. So make sure you do what I said. Don't do it on soaking wet hair if you don't want a lot of shrinkage. Make sure you brush your hair out and make sure you have a spray bottle to damp it, put your product in, and then start twisting.
guys i swear i look like felicia from friday like this with my hair like this i look super crazy okay so now that you're done all that you want to sleep on it and make sure you wrap your hair up so it doesn't get frizzy but then again sometimes i like frizz so whatever floats your boat and then the next day i know some people like to put oil on their hands when they're um taking the twist out but i i don't know i didn't do that because i didn't want my hair to be super oily and i don't like a lot of oils and stuff in my hair because then my hair gets greasy and then my face starts breaking out so i really didn't put any oil in there i just at the end after i have um all the twist out i put argan oil in my hair but i don't even think i put that clip in there i think it got deleted so once you are done taking them all out they should look like this so once they're all out you want to start fluffing them all out because you don't want them to be like all tight and matted down so just like start pulling them apart and then you're going to see like in a clip coming up i have a big pick which is my hair's favorite pick and you just want to start fluffing your roots out because you don't want those to be matted down either so you just start fluffing those out and making your hair as big as you want All right guys, so after fluffing everything out, I take a pick and I start picking out the roots because I don't want them to be flat because like I said, I like big hair. I don't want it to be flat, flat, but if you like it flat, you can leave it flat. But like I said, you just get a pick and start picking the roots out and picking out wherever you want it to be not flat. All right guys, so when you're done, it should look like this. Um, that is basically the end of this tutorial. It's super easy, super simple. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you never miss out on any of my videos. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And yeah, if you have any suggestions of like what you want to see, just comment them down below and I will do them. So until next time, bye guys.